Starting next school year, there will be changes to how Colorado students learn state history and U.S. history. The law now requires teachers include the contributions of minority groups. And today, after more than a year of debates and drafts, the State Board of Education signed off on those new standards. 90 News reporter Jennifer Meckles walks us through the decision. Teach history, not After faculty. many revisions. Teach history, not Many faculty. chances to hear from Teach the public. History. And after a year of work. To meet the requirements of HB 19-1192. The State Board of Education has decided on new social studies standards for Colorado students. That passes four to three. The standards had to follow a 2019 law designed to include minority groups in civic and history education. When we can educate our young black and brown little kiddos that there's people that they can model after, that there are historical figures that have made significant contributions to this incredible country that we live in, it's gonna motivate all of us to be even better. In those minority groups, the LGBTQ community is mentioned at every grade level. Community members fought for that after an earlier revision cut them out. One Colorado, a statewide LGBTQ advocacy organization, calls this vote a win. And that's significant because we know that there has been this national effort to sort of remove the contributions and remove language um, around LGBTQ folks. Um, and that's just really damaging. And there were many parents and a few board members who feel the new standards go too far. I think they are anti-parent. They introduce items into discussion in schools that are sometimes age appropriate and sometimes not age appropriate. I think what we brought back in to the standards in general reflects most of what we heard from parents, from teachers, students that came to uh, the board meeting were sent us many, many letters. So I think it reflects the values of the, the individuals that provided us feedback. So moving through this meeting today, there were a lot of votes adding back in or not adding in certain amendment items, but the big final votes fell along party lines. Four to three approved by the Democrats on the board, Kyle. So obviously local school districts in Colorado have a whole lot of control about actual implementation, right? Yes, these are standards. Look at them as the floor. The individual districts are building out the actual curriculums. And so now that's what happens next is they got to go back and look at this. Does this mean that certain districts might have to revise their curriculums? Can they go further? And the board members tonight told me that they have to figure this out because these standards will go into effect by next school year, 23-2024. All right. Thank you, Jenny.